Ma'am, have you read the literature on how to make abortion illegal in Texas? No? Ma'am, you know, I'm of Christ. Leave me alone. I'm of Christ, Leave not of Satan. Ma'am, abortion is the number one Let me cause. Tell you, something. you get out of my face and don't say nothing else to me. I'll go to the police. Go to the police, ma'am. I sure will. You, you park away from me. And you, don't say nothing you park next to me. Hell, go get your ears tickled, you pew warmer. Oh, you're gonna choke on those very words. Watch. How am I gonna choke? You won't even read the literature. If black people were being raped and hung and murdered, you would ignore it. You would ignore it. Your brothers and sisters. Your brothers and sisters roll over in their graves. Your brothers and sisters roll over in their graves of your apathy towards them. <laughs> Go get your ears tickled, Master Pew Warmer. Today in America, we'll have over 60,000 abortions in Texas. We're here not because we hate you, but because we care about you. We should not be apathetic towards the 60,000 babies that are going to be murdered this year in Texas alone. We have over 30,000 evangelical churches in Texas. Over 70,000 pastors in Texas. And we have 13,000 kids in foster care, rotting, waiting to be adopted. But Christians do not want them because they are not babies. If they were babies, they would be sucked up. Ma'am, how was your pew warming today? Were your ears tickled today, ma'am? The black community suffered and it was abolitionists that supported the black people. Abolitionists stood up against and opposed slavery. Ma'am, you could have parked somewhere else. No, I can park anywhere I want. You are so stiff neck. You are so stiff neck, ma'am. You are stiff neck. You've been talking about black people. I'm recording you. You will be on the probably the news. Uh, abolitionists aren't allowed to talk about black people. Black people is more than abortion, and you will be on the news. You are stiff neck, ma'am. Oh, yes, and you are stiff neck. No. You are going to be on the news. I'm recording you right now. You could have parked anywhere you want. I'm gonna keep parking here. You touch this car, or you touch me. Everybody's gonna see exactly who you are. Why would I touch you, ma'am? You can't, honey. I'm covered by the blood of Jesus, and you keep right on. We're <laughs> recording. I'm recording you. You will be known. You're, you're, you want to be known? You will. Haven't you, you seen? You were here last Sunday when it was pouring raining. If you're passionate, you'll be hey, here in the. Did rain. you see your YouTube video? You will be on TV. Did you see you your YouTube video? Go watch your YouTube video. The number one cause of death in Texas, 60,000 every year, is child sacrifice. While these pews are being warmed and your ears are being tickled and you have a good moral opinion that abortion is wrong, yet you do nothing to help make it illegal. Repent of being pro-life, which regulates when, where, and how you murder babies. Repent of that and become abolitionist. We should not regulate murder. How is it that you warm a pew every Sunday but do nothing to help make abortion illegal? Woe to you men who ignore child sacrifice in the land and you think you're godly. Woe to you gray-haired old men who have lived with child sacrifice and grown fat in the day of slaughter. Woe to Chuck Swindoll, these elders, these pastors of yours who lull people to sleep and ignore child sacrifice in the land, who build up their own kingdom,